Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, for a tutorial on sensors. This is for new players and players who may not have played around with the sensor. Just a basic look at sensors and how you can visualize the sensor field and see how to set up a sensor and some of the things that sensors do. So we have a little block here in the center. So we're just gonna pop open our build menu with the left stick, clicked in, and we're going to flick through until we get to the sensor section under advanced systems and you'll find it down here, sorry, up here. Down here is remote control, camera. Up is programmable blocks and sensors. And you'll find the basic sensor and the automaton sensor up here. We're gonna use just the basic sensor for now. And if you look, that sensor is orientated the wrong way. So we want to rotate it like so, so that the sensor bar, the light, is below the circle, making a little neutral robotic face. And you'll see that the sensor is there like so so if we move close to the sensor and we press x on it we'll open up the control panel where the sensor is and we can start to look at what we can do with it what we want to do first is show this on HUD. When we do that, without leaving this screen, just tap the right trigger until you get to info. When you're on info, what we want here is this one. Show sensors field range. Set that, then press back, the B button, and you can see that the sensor's field range is now modelled here on this grid. Now I've left the back off to show you that it does indeed stretch below as well. So if you look again at these settings on this sensor you'll see that the sensor is set to five meters on the left, right, bottom, top, back, and front. Now the front of the sensor is exactly in front of me right now. So if I set this down to 0.1 meters, it will pull the field to 0.1 meters in front of the sensor there. If I set all of these, the left, the right, the bottom, the top, the back, and the front to 0.1 meters, you'll see that you can't see the sensor field. It's there, you just can't see it. It's within the block. So, we want the left, and you can change these numbers, by the way, by holding down the right bumper and pushing left and right on the D-pad, so you can change it quickly. Left bumper will change the increment more 
slowly. Both bumpers will put it between 0 0.1, 25 and 50. But there's another way of doing it. If you press A on one of these, you'll open this value menu where you can see the number increment differently and you can fine tune it but we can go one further if we press A again on this menu we open up the actual number entry and we can just press 2 hit OK and you'll see that there is our sensor field at 2 meters on the left extent let's do it again 1.5 and you'll see that's 1.5 So, with that in mind, if we go around the whole thing and set it to, say, 3 metres on each one, like so. And this entry method makes doing this kind of thing a lot easier than messing about. And of course, for anyone who plays on mouse and keyboard, it's even easier. However, some of us cannot put a mouse and keyboard on our console. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now if I had a mouse and keyboard because my console is downstairs and how I'm recording is upstairs. So let's put that one to bed before anyone says anything there we have a three meter um cube of sensor field around our sensor and you can probably just detect the color change as i enter the sensor field it goes from green to cyan. See the cyan there, look. And as I exit, it goes to green. So, with a sensor field like this, you can do actions. If we go back and look at the sensor, we can set the sensor up to do various things. So, let's just have a nose. You can have it make a noise you can have it detect your players and you can detect floating objects you can detect small ships large detect stations subgrids asteroids you can detect the owner me and friendlies and neutrals and enemies and so on so we don't want to detect enemies or neutrals but we want owner and friendly on and we just want detecting players for now and now what can you do with this sensor well for a start you can refine the field so we don't really need to for this example but you could refine it so that it fits snugly at an object in this regard all I want to do for this video is show you how to manipulate a sensor and how to get it to do things so let's pop a yeah why not dead simple to begin with 
just for this demonstration. We'll go for my favourite, the rotating light. And we'll just turn that rotating light off by pressing X when i am got the block selected. So, our rotating light. When we enter the field, we want that light on. When we exit the field, we want the light off. How do we do that? Again, open up the control panel. It tells you how to do it if you hold both bumpers and press your inventory button. Or just press X and it'll open it as well. Go to Setup Actions. Now, the first block of the Setup Actions is going to be what happens when you enter the field. The second block is going to be what happens when you exit the field. So if we find our rotating light and we turn our light on and then we select off. When we enter the field the next time our light comes on and when we exit it goes off. On, off. Another practical example of this will be if you had, say, a door and you can use event controllers these days, but before that we had to use sensors to trigger things like doors so if we just simply go to our sensor this time go to the setup actions move down to here and here press A on both to clear them find our door and go open and then when we leave the field we want the door closed and come out of that door opens door closes open close and that's how to manipulate sensors to make things happen as I was saying back in the old days we were using sensors a lot but now we can also use the event controller that's not the purpose of this video though the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a sensor to detect things now it doesn't just detect people it can detect small ships like that so if I hop into my little control seat from the last video um, add the small connector drone switch lock And just bring it over here for now I'm going to use the suit to take control of it again right now we'll set this sensor to no longer detect players but to detect small ships so now you should see that when we interact with it nothing happens in theory however our drone should trigger it so if we open up our remote access on the suit by going to the inventory selecting the remote access finding cam drone and pressing a to take control of it you'll see that we can 
open and close the door with the aid of our little drone rather than the player. So you can use this if you want auto hanger doors that open when your ship comes in. Just simply have your field set up so that when the ship's nose enters the field, the doors open, and when the ship exits the field, the doors shut. And there is your little tutorial video on sensors. Hopefully you can use this to breathe some life into your headquarters or your ships or do some funky things. And that's all I've got time for. So I will say thank you for the likes, the subscribes. Please keep it coming. Please keep your comments civil and keep your comments coming. Uh, I will be diving into Starfield at some point. Uh, I've put a few hundred hours into that game so far, about 400 plus. Um, I will be doing some very basic Starfield videos. I've just been a bit under the weather and also catching up on Space Engineers because the the focus of this channel is space engineers primarily. Um, I will be adding No Man's Sky when new content comes out for that as well. I may even do a little series on that starting off from the beginning. But really, as I said, my focus is this game. Starfield is the icing on the cake. With that said, stay safe. Take care, have fun, enjoy the game. Keep on engineering. Feel free to tag me in photos, uh, show me your builds on my community channel and I will catch you definitely and absolutely in the next one. Bye for now.